Welcome to our channel and welcome to another one of our videos. Please hit that subscribe button below to, to receive our future content. Today we're going to discuss PayPal. We got news that came out on Friday. We also had a CNBC contributor uh, turn around and buy some more shares. And then we're going to go through some unusual activity. And we're going to go through the charts as well. Stick with us until the end. So let's get busy. Here's our current position. We own 100 shares. We've already picked up $1,344 worth of premiums off of our past trades. And we're going to be working on some additional trades this next week as well to offset our cost basis of 216 This past week, we achieved uh, $1,612 worth of premiums and profits. PayPal dropped 2.4% on Friday. But after hours, it made up basically about a half a percentage of that. With light volume of about 12 million shares versus about 16 million on the average. Market cap still about 220. There is one analyst report if you see down here. It says an upgrade from BMO. They went from a perform, market perform to outperform. This was on January 3rd. The low side is 175. The high side is 366. CNBC contributor, investor, and portfolio manager. He just bought some more PayPal. And he believes he bought it on the low side. We'll go through the chart real quick. As you can see here, we haven't been at these levels since back here in November of 2020 so he is correct as long as we stay above 180 we're, we'll be good to go now, before we get into news and everything let's go into the options this is a january 21st options as you can see there's huge volume at the 185 at 20 000 options again at the 190 the 200 the 210 and the 220 respectively down here at the puts it's 185 so next highest is actually the 190s and then down here at the 180 so let's get in some product news a paypal explores launch of own stable coin in crypto push this came out friday a paypal is exploring the launch of its own stable coin as part of cryptocurrency push. Basically what the st title states. They're exploring the stable coin. Stable coins are cryptocurrencies backed and priced by the value of the existing currency or commodity. I'm going to place this article down below so you can review it later. Next article we're going to cover is three reasons to buy PayPal stock. This came out over the weekend here. PayPal's valuation has fallen to pre-COVID levels despite making great strides during the pandemic. Customers are utilizing the platform more often. And three, the company has created new opportunities with recent partnerships and product launches. And they're talking about the uh, stock dropping, the falling valuation, and rising margins. As you can see here, the profit margins went up, whereas the share price went down. Lofty valuations were common throughout the tech sector in 2021, but historically a 45 times multiple is too expensive for PayPal. And if they it produces 22% growth per year, then the stock should shoot up with no problem. Uh, growing total payment volume and transactions, we already discussed that above. And they're talking about how they grew 26% year over year to $310 billion driving 13% revenue growth. Very impressive. New opportunity with Amazon. Uh, we discussed that in our past video. So those are the three reasons. I'll place this article down below. ARK Investment currently owns a number of shares here. They One of their funds called the ARKF. Uh, they own uh, PayPal percentages, 1.94% of the total fund, uh, worth about th $37 million. Their cost basis is 181 So we're working on bringing our cost basis down too as well. I'll Place this article down below so you can review it and all the other stocks in this fund. I appreciate everybody watching our video today. If you have any questions or comments or just want to share your position, go ahead and place them down below. You guys enjoy your weekend, what's left. And hopefully we have a great week coming up. And be safe out there. Until next time, this is Sunny. I'm out.